Are you trying to have a date with me in order to drink the booze kept here? No, 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 no. Okay, yes. Hey, hey, welcome to the channel! If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe for more! Today we're finishing the Investigation in Medieval Chronicles episode 5.3. I hope you enjoy! Captain, I would like to apologize. Huh? For what? Not what? Whom? <laughs> yeah, my father. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm not even going to read all those options. Uh, come on, don't... I don't want to choose that option. Father, Dad, Papa, Pops, Daddy... Uh, it's going to be... No, I don't want to. My blank was born with women in his mind, so he can be a bit overbearing. Weird, I don't think of you as an apologizing type. Usually, I am not, but despite the problems, you still allowed me to conduct my own investigation. Huh. <laughs> I can see that the idiot has passed on the right genes to his child. And besides, I don't want to close the case either without having all the facts in hand. So make sure to throw the cold hard facts at my face, if you want to have any chance of saving that girl. Yes, ma'am. There is something broken here. Hmm. Someone seemed to have dropped this vase. I guess everything is breakable when it comes to surprise rates. The mud in the vase has completely dried solid. And when the vase broke, so did the mud within it. I think there was something kept in it. Whatever it was, left a print in the dried mud, making it into a mold. Yep, I just need to assemble the pieces together, and I hope I'll find something related to the killer. And of course, when I say I will assemble the hundreds of broken pieces together, I was referring to... <laughs> Who else could it be but Ember? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Mr. Amberino would be more than happy to help a frail pretty girl like me. Oh Amber, I've got a job for you. Oh wait, that's Tira. <laughs> Fine, get it out of your system. <laughs> that would take me days! <laughs> if only there was a way to frame this moment forever! Tell me something, why do women wear high heels? How do you even walk in those? It's part of a charm. self torturous charming? No style is. You sacrifice a few things to look the best. Does that include all feeling in your legs? Oh boy, you suck at being a woman. Yeah, well, you know what? I bet I can still get a... Before you do. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, you deserve that one. Ah! You must have a death wish to utter such foolish words in front of me. Sorry, it was a slip of tongue. Here comes a diving elbow drop. <laughs> oh! Say ankle! Say ankle! <clears throat> yeah, okay, so that was not a fail, that was actually what it was supposed to be. Hello, Lila. Oh, uh, what are you holding up? A bit better. At least the shaking has stopped. Yeah, I also get a bit shaky when the alcohol level in my body gets low. That sounds like I have a severe alcohol problem. No, it's just drag. I agree. The problem is that there's not enough alcohol in my life. <laughs> so, tell me about yourself a bit. The only time we talked was inside a dungeon. Not a great place to meet up. I live on the borderland between this country and Balboa. Or at least I used to. By this country, do you mean Raicha? I know we're not one of the most desirable countries out there, but at least call us by our country name, Raicha. S sorry my parents were Balboa nationals, and this is the first time in Raicha, so I didn't know what you called it. Why? What do the people over there call Raicha? Uh, the country of cowards? Uh, sounds about right. What, what's, what's going to happen to me? Well, it depends on how things play out. You ready to talk now? Yes. Although I rather not. Take a minute to prepare yourself. I'll be with you soon. Thanks, Dragarina. No, Drag. No problem. Are they actually bonding right now? 
Mm, Drag does have a soft side. So, I want to hear about the case now. Tell me. Uh, are all these people necessary, Dragery? <laughs> Drag? Don't worry. They are trustworthy people. The one on to your left is the captain of this part of town. Feel free to talk. You're in safe hands. And the one behind you is someone I didn't actually invite, but tagged along because she had nothing better to do. Well, I had lots to do, but there won't be another chance to see Dragon in a frilly dress. I see what you mean. If it wasn't for the murder, that would be the memory that was haunting me right now. So, that is about everything that happened from the start. Yes, um, Drake had just left to catch the one the Turks called Bossman. I'm guessing that was the code name for a hawk? Yep. The goose were carelessly speaking his real name along with his code name. Why did you leave her behind? Couldn't you have taken her with you? I couldn't because of the moisture and humidity in the room. The buzz of the door had become brittle, sticky, discolored, aged, wet, or moldy. Hmm. Moldy because it. Well, wet and moldy. Wet or moldy? Ugh. Well, moist means wet, but they were moldy as well. Yeah, okay, wet, fuck it. Alright, right, I get it. Damn, I'm not on my best today. The bars were too slippery to climb because of how wet they were. Even the horizontal bars would slip due to the tiniest weight pressure. So I told Officer Drake to climb on my shoulders and get through the tiny gap that was between the roof and the door. Captain, all things considered, I think that was the right thing to do. She was much safer there. That was what we were going for too. So how did you end up in dance for a study? Uh, I don't know. I was in the dungeon waiting and I suddenly felt a sharp pain on the back of my head. I, I guess I slipped and fell because the floor was slippery. But when I opened my eyes, I, I was in the that room with the dead body and b b blood all over my clothes. That's not much to go on. Hmm. What is it? Miss Lila, please turn away from me for a second. I need to check something. Uh, okay. Is she going to check for a wound? Oh, what's this? There appears to be swelling on the back of the head, along with some minor bleeding that has stopped now. What? That's... If she was indeed hit there, the blow would have definitely knocked her out for a couple of minutes. Uh, really? But I don't feel anything now. I guess you didn't realize it till now, because of the adrenaline of the situation. Officer Chira, take a closer look at the hair. I think I see something between them. Oh, you're right. What are these? Small pebbles? More like traces of the rock she was hit with. The rock still may be in the dungeon, and I bet we'll find some of her blood on it. I have the rookie checking out the dungeon. Maybe she already found it. I'll check with her and let her know. Oh, you, Ember! We have a job for you! I object, Captain! She doesn't know my work procedures! However, Rude, this is a joint investigation. I know you have your way of doing things, but you must also learn to play nice with others. Yo, Rocky! What are your skills? I can finish a pie in 30 seconds. That's actually impressive. Kill me now! Did someone here wish to die? I have a shovel and an unmarked grave you can use. I don't need it. Yet. No one's killing themselves. We were just talking about how we're going to work together. Aren't we, Calwig? Ah, uh, alright. The rookie can have this room and I'll check the thug's room out. Thank you, Officer Calwig. I try my best not to disappoint you, but... <laughs> I meant your expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it happens to everyone who meets up as a coward for the first time. What about you? Don't you want to comment on my boldness? Get it out of your system? Not really. I am more interested in your wanting to die claim. Should I get the shovel or not? I hate you. Don't worry, it happens to everyone who meets up as a drag for the first time. <laughs> I guess everyone has their own quirks. Officer Drag, why are you still wearing those clothes? We could say the same thing to you, Amber. I left mine back at the station. <laughs> I guess I have to rely on my brain to repress this memory, along with the others. Why are you still wearing that mustache? It kinda grew on me. 
You mean it rooted itself deep inside your brain? Because that would explain Vilrol's behavior. The fact that Drag is now mentioning Vilrol is actually... Uh, I think it's taken him a long time to mention this and it it's actually quite disturbing. No, I mean people treat you differently when they see you as a man. It's like a whole new experience for me. That mustache will only bring misery and pain down only to men and the taste of alcohol that becomes an addiction. Not me. Embry Lomasahad is an optimistic person of dreams and has an affectionate taste for yummy pies. Hard is already a muscle, idiot. And the person you're describing ends up as a dead body smelling in a gutter somewhere. I believe in the power of the mustache. Who gave you the attire anyway? I was the only one who was supposed to go undercover. It's a... Uh, um... Let me guess. The hopeless romantic, the one out of ten. Doctor, useless dad, the captain, the baldy, the woman. Probably... Useless dad? Yeah. It was my male parent, wasn't it? That's a weird way for calling someone dad. I should kill him. But I was taught as a child to respect my parents. Your way of respecting him is not to kill him? That's all he deserves. Well, I'm not going to matter in that personal affair, but okay. I actually want to know why does Drag hate his dad so much? Officer Drag! You should look through that hole! The light is reflecting the bald guy's head and creating another light source. That's horrible. I'll check it out. Meanwhile, I want you to assemble this vase with the mud shape intact. What? That sounds hard. Hey, you wear the mustache. You get the responsibility that goes along with it. Now get to it. <laughs> Sad mustache. Wow, it really is bright. Do you think you will mind if I hang him upside down in my house? <laughs> no. Oh no. Hanging upside down in a, in a dance room. Woo! Disco ball! Oh wait, no, it's a ball guy. If he doesn't, then I would question his mental health. Uh, Officer Drag? Can I ask something? As long as it's not about the dress. I was wondering... Something about Officer Grimm said. What's that? He said, your life was taking a very dark turn as a kid, but when you were 10 years old, you suddenly changed and decided to become a cop. May I ask what changed? I changed my diet, I lost someone, I started drinking, I grew a mustache, I learned how to dance. Yeah, he lost someone. But we don't actually know whom, I guess, Ark? But we don't know how, why, and all that. I lost someone. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's okay, it was not a hidden fact or anything. Is that why you became a cop? To save lives? No, people will die someday either way. That's a pointless reason to become a cop. Then why? It's to bring the truth to light. Since the truth is something ugly people usually tend to ignore or hide in the dark. If our civilization is to survive, then the truth is an undeniable part of it. Because anything based on lies will eventually crumble. Oh. What? I finished building the vase. That was fast. You were right. There was something kept in here. Look at the shape. It resembles a key. But it's a bit long for it to be one. You know, a skilled person could make the key from the mold inside. That person would need to be precise. We should also have the equipment ready for it. So, I'm guessing the dog, right? Ugh, looks like I have no choice. Is it going to be one of the police? Don't worry, Officer Drag, he's being punished in hell. I'm more worried about the fact that you know what's going on in hell. Yeah, Drag, you've been to hell and she's an angel, so... Eh. Hey, Miss Lila was hit in the back of the head in here. There are some sand particles in her hair. So, I'm guessing a rock was used. Look here for any rocks with blood on it. Huh? But none of the rocks here have been moved or taken out. Wait, what? How can you be so sure? It will be easier to show you. Come here. Do you see this rock formation over here? Look at them closely. What exactly am I looking for? Have you noticed how damp it is in here? Well, I slipped and fell when I arrived in here, so yes, I have a pretty good idea. Thanks to minor water leaks in the walls and the humid temperature, a thin layer of water is formed on the inside walls and floor. Thus, everything out in the open gets wet. What's your point? What do you think will happen to objects not in direct contact with the wet air? 
It also gets wet, it erodes, it melts, it solidifies, it remains dry, it catches on fire. <laughs> Insta! <laughs> Insta fire! Uh, no. Uh, yeah, it remains dry, I guess. Yeah, probably. Since the object is touching something else, the moisture has no chance to enter. And hence, remain dry. Exactly! So, when you lift something from its place in here, it will leave a visible dry mark on the ground. And I'm guessing you didn't find any dry marks on anything in here? Nope. So, in conclusion, the rock that was used to hit Miss Lila did not come from here. When did you become so smart? It's the mustache! Twirling it helps me think. So where did the rock come from? Outside? That will take way too long to search. Hmm... My mustache tells me Officer Tira might know something about it. Your mustache is psychic now? Not really. I overheard her investigating about a broken pillar. Might be related? Well, I'll give it a shot. But first, let's go talk to that bold guy. Sir Boldness. Since no one is going to drink these, seeing how all the occupants are either dead or arrested, I'll take these home with me. Stop right there! What? What's wrong? This is still an ongoing investigation. Hence everything in here is considered evidence until the captain says so. So, can you tell me what you're going to do to the crime scene by touching the bottles here? Make it better. <laughs> Yeah, disturb it. <sighs> disturb the crime scene, I guess. You guess? Is this how you usually handle cases, Officer Drag? What's your problem? I already told you that I needed to go order that guy were in this spot. Only the goons. My problem is that everything should be considered as evidence until the captain says otherwise. It's standard procedure. I bet you're obviously neatly arranging files by their alphabetical order and freak out over their tiniest mistake. How did you know that? Are you spying on me? Maybe I am. He's just another Polly. Except ours is not bald. Captain! Help me! Yeah, I know, he's, he's way worse. Oh yeah, the manifest. This is the manifest the goons were talking about. The one with the names of the slaves. That's a lot of names. Unfortunately, I doubt we'll find them in any of our records, seeing as they were illegal immigrants. Huh? The slave trade was specifically targeting them? Makes sense. No records in any country, the government wouldn't realize or even care if they went missing. If it wasn't for the efforts of the two people here, more people would have fallen victim to this tragedy. By two people, do you mean Kelwick and Myers, Leland Dunsworth, Tyra and Sai, Grimm and Regina, and Bruno and Drag, Soldier and Thug? Who does he mean? Lila and Dunsworth? Ah, uh, this is just gambling. Grimm and Regina. Regina is the captain of the guard. Grimm is with her in internal affairs or something like that. So uh, I, I guess this could be it. Captain Regina and internal affairs officer Grimm or Morris. They were in charge of the investigation and sting. Yes, if you wish for more details, you can talk to them directly about it. I might just do that. Why are we sitting here? I think we got off on the wrong foot. So I thought we'd sit down and talk for a bit. Uh, okay. If you say so. Bonjour. I will be your uh, waiter this evening. First, this is not a restaurant. Secondly, why are you doing this really? So, tell me your hobbies and I'll try not to ridicule them. Are you trying to have a date with me in order to drink the booze kept here? No, 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 no. Okay, yes. Oh no, we were caught! You both need professional help. No argument there. But not as much as this person. Amber, Drag, Grim, Lila, Regina, Mars. Is he... Oh, wait, so this time it was not about Grim? Myers? Wait, what? Oh, wait, I'm dumb, I missed... I didn't see Lila standing in there and that... Yeah, she definitely is gonna need it. Miss Lila will need professional help her whole life after thinking she performed that gruesome murder. Either way, he's dead. So it poses a lot of problems for us. Uh, why? The slaves that were sold off. He knew where they were sold and to whom. Not to mention his hunters who captured the slaves. Can't you get this information from the documents here? We don't know how much information he documented. It wasn't exactly a legal business that requires bookkeeping. 
so we lost the running lead to his customers. The slavers were God knows where, and any other possible POYs or hideouts. POY? Person of interest. So he could have been murdered to cover up the tracks by the real killer. I really hope that's not true, because that will mean that they knew we were closing in on Dunsworth. So the real question is, who told them about the sting operation? Bum bum bum! So we're actually looking for a dirty cop. Well, she said... It wasn't supposed to end this way. Captain? We were supposed to get him alive. At least, that was the plan. What can you tell me about this thing? Your father approached me and after several attempts to woo me, he told me about the slave operations going on in my jurisdiction. So, what did you do? I punched the lights out of him for even saying that. But your father kept visiting me with more and more evidence for it every day. If only it was that much dedication to pursuing women, he might actually have a chance. Yeah, so I started my own little investigation, without telling anyone, and the truth soon became obvious. An actual slave ring, right under my eyes. And for over a year too, I still punch myself for not catching on earlier. How did you manage to get a warrant for a sting against the minister? I... I had my methods. A few broken bones here and there, and a bit of pressure where it counted. I hope you'll teach me those methods one day. I could use them in sticky situations. I wouldn't recommend it. I'm resigning tomorrow. Oh, that's quick. Y you had to give up your career for the sting? I feel bad, kiddo. I have grandkids. I've been meaning to spend some time with them. For what it's worth, I would have done something similar too. <laughs> then you're just a big idiot like me. And the reason why I can rest in retirement now. The world is all yours now, kiddo. That's a horrible parting gift. <laughs> I said the same thing to my boss too. You know, I don't want to say it, but she's on my suspect list now. Okay, and Grim, you had to say something to me about it as well? Hey, child spawner. Is it too much to ask to call me dad or father? I will, when you earn it. I need to know. How did you stumble onto the slave trade? I didn't stumble, I discovered it! Many people started going missing, especially women in the past year. How did no one notice? Those who went missing were all illegal immigrants, living on the outskirts of the border between Raja and Balboa. Turned it after the war, were they? Yes. Fortunately, I had a couple of contacts within them to look out for border activity, where they told me of the missing immigrants. Clever. Since they are undocumented, neither kingdom will notice them missing. I chained the leads together and found one of the missing girls in a merchant's mansion right here in Raicha. A little involuntary yoga was more than enough to get the place where he got her, and a name. Let me guess. Hawk Dunsworth. Hawk Dunsworth, right? Yep, but since he was a minister in the palace, I had to get solid evidence and hence I approached Captain Regina for it. This area is under her jurisdiction, so you needed her help to perform the sting. To my surprise, she went above and beyond. She's not a captive for just show. If only she was 10 years younger, I bet she could have melted the butter in my pocket. Right, I'm gonna hurl now, and avoid butter for the rest of my life. Anything else you can tell me that will not make me want to kill myself? No, you have to ask her for more details about it, if you haven't already done so. I already did. The rock didn't come from the basement? Yes, and I can't seem to find it anywhere. Couldn't you see it have taken it with him, rather than keeping it around? Yes, but I think the one who killed Dunsford and knocked out Lila is the same person. So, if the killer took the rock, they would have also taken the body, the documents, the murder weapon, the blood. Mm, the murder weapon, wait, no, no, the murder weapon stayed behind. The documents, yeah. Ah, dang it. Oh yeah, because it was left behind. The murder weapon was left behind, so I'm guessing they must have tossed the rock somewhere around here too. And wouldn't it be in the kill room too? Besides, you say rock, but what if it was part of something else? What do you mean? I saw a weathered pillar in there, and it's crumbling and seeing the hasty nature of the crime, 
The killer must have picked out a part of it after killing Dunsworth. That's a good job there, Tira. Oh, praise me more, Drag. I'm starting to like this cross-dressing you. Don't get used to it. A deteriorating pillar. This must be the place. Now, what kind of rock am I exactly looking for? Wet, dry, broken, clean, sparkly... Yeah, bloody. Of course bloody. Since Miss Lila was hit on the back of the head, I need to look for anything with blood traces on it. This one. There are blood traces on it. I bet it would also match the wound on her head. This rock is proof that the killer knocked out Miss Lila and brought her here. I hope this will be enough to convince the captain. Looks like my theory of control is going strong with all the information I'm getting about him. Alright, so tell me this. What would have been his plan to save himself if he had been arrested? I might have what you're looking for. Follow me. I found something of a contingency plan he was making in case he was caught by us. He was in a garbage can. Contingency plan? This guy was that smart? Not really. Here, read this. When the cops would come knocking, he was going to lock himself in the basement? More specifically, he was going to pretend to be confined by the real slavers and claim that they were controlling his business. Would that have worked? It would have given him enough leeway to contact his politician friends and arrange a setup to protect himself. Why would you think he discarded this plan since he found it in the garbage? Two reasons. First, he will have to know beforehand the cops are coming and go down the basement to lock himself in. And since there is only one way to the dungeon, which is through the hall, the people would have noticed him immediately. And the second reason must be that his plan did not cover sting operations, insurance, his assets, his customers. Um, <laughs> did not cover insurance. <laughs> His assets or his customers? Yeah, his assets actually. Ah, dang it. <clears throat> Am I ser seriously failing? Wait, come on, what sting operations? He literally said it. He didn't have time to go down there if he was caught via a sting operation. But here's the interesting part. This plan was made days ago, considering the date. But the ink on this paper has dried enough to have been written only a couple of hours ago. So the question is, why would he write that again today? Oh my god, I'm at a half a heart. This is one of the few times this has happened. I, I, it's been a long time I've been at that low. Doc, I need your help. Well, admitting you need help is the first step to stop drinking. What? No. The man in this face has a shape inside which looks like a key. Can you duplicate it? Hmm... Of course! Uh, some special clay that solidifies fast. They're calling it plaster. Give me a minute. Is that even going to be strong enough? And voila! Here's the key! Why is the shaft of the key so long? It seems unnatural. <coughs> That's what she said! Because whatever it needs to open is probably in a narrow space where hands can't reach easily. Also, look closely. I think there are many traces of paper on it. Traces of paper and a long shaft to reach a place where hands can't get? Could it be an autobiography, book burning, poster, trash can, wallpaper, bookshelf? Yeah, probably a bookshelf. Oh, dear god, I'm, I'm, I'm right. Considering this place and the architecture, a bookshelf must be the probable location. Good luck then. There are a couple of them in this house as far as I have seen. Yeah, but they must be in this room because if a raid is happening, it must be somewhere around here, right? Wait, for real? It's not in here? Aha! Found it! Hmm, says Drag while blankly staring at a bookcase while two people behind him are just standing there not knowing what's happening. <laughs> Why is Drag staring blankly at a bookcase? Don't know. Brainstroke, maybe? There's a suspicious hole in this bookcase. What are you implying? Probably comparing it to the hole in his brain. <laughs> if my theory is correct, this item should fit in that tiny hole. The face, the key, the knife, the mud, the frilly dress, my dignity. 
<laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely the key, but damn, that final option. <laughs> huh? Is that a secret passage? Yup. If my theory is correct, this should lead to the dungeon. One of us should check it out. And don't forget to write a letter, Drag. Wait, what? Have a safe trip! <laughs> Let's take the stairs and see whether we need bandages or a body bag. Right. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? God, if you can hear me, please send me an angel that will show me the right way. Yeah, that's that's definitely not the wrong that's the wrong way. <laughs> God, I would like a refund, please. God is dead, and so are you if you don't help me get up. <laughs> okay. Huh? A secret passage? You know there are stairs inside, right? You didn't have to push me. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? This explains how a young lady came up without anyone noticing. Good job, everyone. So, does that mean you believe me? This only explains how she got there, but it's not enough to convince me yet. We'll talk more when you finish investigating. Right. Okay. I think it was everything I could get from this place. Now to crack this case wide open. But that's going to be for the next episode. Or not. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm? Are you done investigating? I'm so happy I didn't die. Yes, I'm done. How do you want to handle this? Very well, tell Doc to clean up the crime scene, we're going to use the study for our cross-examination. But I don't want a girl in there with us. She stays outside with guards. Fine by me? Well then, Officer Drake, I hope you have a solid case, because my people found something interesting when researching the documents. What did they find? Now now, it wouldn't be fun unless everyone is present, now would it? You're acting weird. But fine, I'll go and round everyone up. Good. And to think I trusted you. But that's going to be for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Come on. Come on. Please subscribe. Next episode, we'll uh, actually do the revealing of everything. See you again then. Ciao. Subscribe. <laughs>